Filipino company Anos Research Manufacturing posted that their 4x4 armored vehicle, which they now call the Liberato, is now ready for production. We wonder though if they mean prototype production which means producing the prototypes, since we haven't heard or seen any prototype of the vehicle yet. Filipino company Anos Research Manufacturing has shed some hints regarding the development of light tactical vehicle to meet the requirements of the Philippine Army. Based on photos taken during Aedis 2022 some months ago and posted only recently by Anos Facebook page, it appears that Anos is working with Turkish defense company Kakurova Defense, which builds multi-purpose 4x4 chassis, second photo, and wheeled armored combat engineering vehicles, to develop Anos offering for the light tactical vehicle segment, which probably benefit from the Turkish company's experience. Another interesting note is the logo on the vehicle's hood, which doesn't look like the logo of Anos, but of the Philippine government arsenal. Anos is trying to win the Philippine Army's light tactical vehicle acquisition project and the Philippine Navy, Marines, tactical combat vehicle acquisition project, both of which are Horizon 2 projects under RAF PMP. According to defense studies, the Philippine Army has a requirement for 200 units of tactical vehicles under its Horizon 2 procurement plan but it might raise requirements for more units in the future both projects are currently delayed, maybe due to giving chance to local companies to catch up as they develop their own armored vehicles.